<laughs> okay. Um, so, so, right, well, I was about to start um, my sharing. So, uh, hopefully, you can see the clock that I was showing you from the beginning. I can see a clock. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And I thought the problem was I didn't know how far far around something had to be to be a spiral because <laughs> there's all sorts of spirally bits on this clock. So uh, that's why I took that. OK. Fair and enough. then I processed it through iPicky on um, some filter, water filter, I think it was, to just make the spirals a bit more spirally. Very good. Yes. Um, I've recently had my American cousin staying with us, so we were taking her to various places and we took her to the um, uh, townhouse um, at uh, just outside of Salisbury, who, whose name escapes me at the moment. Um, uh, Wilton? No, no, it's uh, all towards Blanford as you go out through Coombe Bissett. Check. Um, Roma. Sorry? Roma? Uh, oh, it's no. Around. No. Anyway, it's a Roman townhouse. And there's uh, spirals on, on the yeah. um, mosaics. Uh, no. That's Rockbourne. Rockbourne. Well done, that man. That's You're funny. a hero. <laughs> um, so Maureen, uh, in her capacity as a journalist keep or, or used to be um keeps taking notes so um she she had to have a spiral on her notebook uh and yeah. that was a, an adjusted one i, I rather like the, the grainy um effect there right. uh, of course apple cores are can become spirals don't they pretty good yes yes apple core yes <laughs> Yes, if you peel it. Uh, I was hoping for a longer one, but it broke. It's apple peel, not apple core. That's just the peel. You said and it's on our kitchen work surface. You need more practice, Alan. You can get much longer if you practice. Yeah, I know, but I find I start eating them before I finish. That's the trouble. <laughs> um, now, we went to the chantry. Oh, yes. And there's spirals there all over the place. That's very nice, that top one in the middle there. Yeah, uh, and that was a processed one, just to make it a bit more interesting. Yeah. And, and then um, whoever he is, he's got spirals there, 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 and there. Yeah. And of course, he's got spirals in his hair. Nice fun. Yes, we'll, we'll allow that. <laughs> Which chantry is that, Alan? Um, um, it's the one Peter mentioned a few weeks back. He um, went, went there. It begins with a B. Yes, the um, Borbach. Boar, Borbach, that's it. Where's that? Where's Where that, uh, Alan? Sorry? It's, where is that? It's, um, it, it's where East Dean or West Dean? East Dean, I think. Yeah, it, it's if you go out on the Southampton Road and get most of the way along the dual carriageway and turn off left. You get to it that way. Yeah. When you get to East D, you have to walk uphill a little bit from the railway station. And there's a little turning on the left, which is on, uh, which is a private one, really. But it goes on and on and on until it eventually turns into grass. And then you get to the Chantry. We'll take you there one day, um, uh, Terry. Okay. Um, process one. There's also on the board a lot of writing, yeah. uh, which looks very spirally to me. And uh, that was a slightly adjusted one. Um, and these are more back at um, the, the Roman townhouse at Rockbourne. Um, yeah. They're more spirally than the ones that were there before. Uh, oh, we seem to have missed that. Right. 
um, I took this with my phone, and of course I realised that the rope's out of focus, and it's focused on the plants, but you can get the idea that it's a spiral. Yes, yes. And there's a spiral that's been told to get knotted. <laughs> yes. yes <thanks. laughs> um, there's a, our place, uh, our doormat, a metal spirally doormat. Now, uh, I don't know how many of you would have seen this motorbike that was um, uh, somebody coming in. Um, was burnt out on just on Newbridge Road. Oh, it's Stan. Sorry? Stan, it's, not, it's Stan Stubbs. All oh, right. Um, so I, I saw the these um, wires, which were fairly spirally. Um, so I got a, a close up and there's what a sort of a mangled spiral. It was quite interesting that the bike has disappeared and the rubbish that was behind it, they've left behind. <coughs> I noticed but, the springs on the back wheel were spirally. Oh, yeah, that one there. Yes. So there's there's a rusted spiral for you. And um, uh, the chap next door used to be um, um, uh, work for uh, uh, an air, airplane company so he used to do arc welding and I said to him have you got any tools that have got spirals on so he brought out that one and he brought out that one now you experts are going to be able to tell me what that is welder's hammer a what a welder's hammer well, yeah, you're nearly there. He calls it a chipping hammer. I thought it was um, a little village in Gloucestershire. You know, I come from chipping hammer. But um, why it's got a sprung handle, I'm not quite sure. He says it's for chipping out off the flux after he's done a, his electric welding. Yeah, that's right. Sorry. Does it make it easier to hold because the heat goes down the central bit and the spirally may not be quite so hot, so you hold it? Could well be. I mean, he didn't know <laughs> he got a spiral handle. Well, I mean, it's also the impact is uh, reduced. Uh, oh, yeah, I would have thought it was more the, the impact. It doesn't go through your hand. Yeah. I used to have a, a poker that looked like that as though it had been carved and stuck on a block. Yeah. Around, weren't they? Anyway, that was an interesting tool, and of course, all spot, all um, all snails have uh, spirals, don't they? Yeah, very good. Australian one. And finally, the the last picture is one which I would have loved to have taken, and anybody who's had the latest RPS magazine would have seen it. But somebody took that photograph, which I thought was um, quite impressive for a spiral. I haven't seen that. Haven't well, you? It's in the latest magazine. It's there. I've seen it. Yeah. I haven't got the latest magazine, obviously. Oh, you've been banned. Yes, obviously. Yeah, came a few days ago. I wonder, you see, I've stopped Sheila being a member. Right. I wonder if that's caused this problem. Oh. I have to get back to the RPS. Yeah. Anyway, that's my little submission. Very good selection indeed. Um, well, I've got a selection if you want to see it. Yes, Peter, of course I do. <laughs> okay, I'll share my screen. Look, Peter? He should have said we all do. <laughs> yes, we all do, Peter, yes. Look at that. What Can you see that? Yes. This is the Jackie Parkinson uh, spirals. Who? They're all uh, um, sort of uh, murals from the uh, uh, an art exhibition in the cathedral, and these oh. are all spirals on her uh, artwork. Oh, which I, I see. Was quite interesting. I haven't been in there for ages, so I, don't, I haven't seen no. that. No. Well, they're, they're nice and colourful and interesting, I thought. And they're all stitched. Yes, it's all it's all a mixture of all sorts. There's paint, paint, um, material, see, yeah, um, all sorts of things. 
the one under that with the or orange in the center, the one under the red one, yeah. that one, it reminds me a bit of that painting, the screen. Yes, me too. <laughs> well, that's, that's what I thought. <coughs> anyway, it's a beautiful exhibition. Yes, right. Okay, thank you. Yes. And then these are just spiral stairs, uh, spirals on the uh, ionic columns. There, there. And unfortunately, this one didn't come out very well, but I didn't oh, right. have time to move it. Where, where were those spiral stairs, Peter? Um, pass. They're in oh. Italy somewhere. I can't remember. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh, they're lovely. Uh, I might be able to tell you by the end, because if I click on it, it'll tell me where, where I was. Oh, no, don't worry. I was just, if, if they were UK, I would have... No, they're not. They, they, okay. they, they, they were in Italy. Right. Um, I think the, the bottom left, that, that's in the um, VNA, uh, not the, the British Museum. All right. And the in the middle as well, right. in the British Museum. And then the one on the right is in uh, Ravenna in Italy. The so bottom you're... right, this one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then those are snails um, oh, in our okay. fish tank, and that's just uh, an ammonite that I've got. So uh, I thought these were all appropriate uh, spirals. I see you've even got a fish in one of them. <laughs> yes, even got a fish in one of them. Yes. Um, I, I haven't done any any um, enhancing of them or or um, putting a, a pattern on. I've just left them as they are. Okay. And that I thought was an interesting spiral. Also again in Italy, and I can't remember where, but this is sort of spiral going up to form this. Yes, very good. Dragon or wyvern or whatever it is, I don't know. But they went all the way to Italy to do that. I did. And I had to, uh, no, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to, um, um, I can't remember the word, but I had uh, no, no, that's a lot. <laughs> I love back, the way you put them together in groups. It's very nice. If you go back one step, oh, Peter, I've just, no, not that one, the, that one, yeah. How, it keeps changing. <laughs> that one. Sorry. Uh, how did you get that background and, and the framing? Oh, I did that in, in uh, Photoscape. All oh, right. And it, most... These are all the various, there's hundreds of different backgrounds you can choose from. I see. Yeah. So, um, that's... that's how I did that. Rounded corners and all that, yes. Yes. And, and, oh. and, you, and you, you can adjust the, you know, the, the, uh, the radius of the, the circles and yep. or leave them square or put frames around it. Or, there's, there's so many things you can do. It's quite, quite versatile if you delve into it, isn't it? It is, yeah. You see, it's the same there. I mean, I, this is just, sorry, and yep. this one here, I tried to put little spirals in, but they haven't come out very well. In, oh, I in see. The background, it should have been spirals in there, but they didn't come out very well. Okay. Well, thank you, Peter. That's very good. <clears throat> and that's my lot. So where am I? We've got to unshare my screen. No. I've done it for you. Okay, thank you. Morning, Stan. Morning, Peter. Any homework, Stan? Who, who said that? Come on, Stan never brings any homework. <laughs> he just he he, he sits there criticising. That's his job. I haven't said a word this morning. I know, I know. It's your reputation that goes before you, Stan. I don't. Let, let, let me just say, I do not criticise. I was just going to say, in your defence, you don't criticise, you critique. And you were very, very lovely at our last meeting. And everybody said how wonderful all your comments were. Thank, Thank you, you Leigh. very much, Stan. And I would love you to join us again. <laughs> Thank you very much for defending us. Absolutely. I was, gonna, I was ready to defend you, but your voice started before mine picked up by the Zoom. Excellent. <laughs> A semantic argument, that Elaine. I think. However, no, it's a very important one. It's a positive, not a negative. 
And so you mean criticism is a, crit is a negative? Exactly, that's the connotation. It's what first springs to mind if someone says I'm criticizing you, mm -hmm. you think you're being told off like a little school child and it's not, so he critiques. And it was very, very lovely. I had many, many comments down. I hope you got my email because I asked Peter to forward it to you. I still haven't got your email. But there were many, many comments after our last Mill Hill group as to how lovely it was to have your wisdom and your positive thoughts. And people oh, went away that. buzzing with lots of ideas. So thank you so much. Oh, oh I didn't, I didn't know you. that. Thank right. you. Anyway, um, you haven't got any homework, but you're let off. <laughs> how much did he pay you for that, Elaine? Oh, <laughs> secrets between us remain secrets. <laughs> Shall we move on, please? <laughs> Has anyone else got any more spirals? Yes, I've got, I've I've got, got some, some spirals. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. No, David first. I go last. Yeah. David, where have you? Yeah, you are. There you are, David. He's got muted still. Muted, David. Okay. Can you hear me now? Yes. All right. Let's do. I hate these things. There we are. The most oh, important, the most important spiral I could find. A corkscrew. Corkscrew, yes. yes. Point, yes. Um, Interesting uh, background. And the thing that Elaine's been using this morning, Cafetier, to the plunger on the bottom, nice. Stainless steel. You can only see the um, the bottle opener. Yeah, well, it's it's We're still on the bottle opener, and, it, the, and we did stop opening the bottles before midnight. Hearing uh, is paused. Why is that? Resume share. Can you see it now? No, no, no. 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 The, the corroboration. Why is that done that then? Any better? No. Fiddly D. Stop sharing and come in again. Yes. Stop share right now. Mm -hmm. I'll shut that on. No, no, um, see, I can't. <clears throat> no. Make me bigger. The full screen, then it should be right. I'll st I'll start to share again. Right? Can you see my multiple pictures? No. Uh, that's, cool. that's better. Uh -oh. Any oh, better? Yes, yeah, got the confetti. Hallelujah. Right. right. Okay. Good on. Yeah, yeah, so there you are. That's the stainless steel springs around the bottom there. Yep, I've got one of those. Uh, that's an interesting little problem, right? Um, it's yeah, it doesn't like the way I'm doing it. How you can do it differently. Can you see that? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's... Um, garden twine but it's got a nice spire on it i couldn't find a piece of rope as big as alan's so that's what i've that's what i've but done we're seeing oh, something oh. silver not something with rope oh. but it yeah, looks very nice silver with a lovely spiral on it yeah hmm. i'll try again hmm. can you see the t can you see that well, that's still a silver thing. Spring. Sorry? There's still a silver thing, a bolt or whatever. Yeah. I shall have to give it up as a bad job, um, I think. Oh, well. can, can you open them all as thumbnails and then screen share? Uh, I, was, I, was use, I was using preview, which they're all open on uh, behind, they're uh, stacked up behind the... Um, mm screen and I don't know quite why it's being difficult. I'll try it. I'll try it that one, which is share. What can you see now? Oh, lovely spiral screws. Hooray. Right. 
Well, it shouldn't be spiral. It should be a spring. So that's had the spring. You sorry? Already had the spring. You've had the spring. Yeah. yeah. Um, can't march forward on your. No. No. Ooh, no, I'll give that up as a bad job. I mean, sorry about that. <laughs> I want to see your pictures. They look nice. <laughs> well, I shall have to uh, see what to do. Um, I shall have to think of the way how to... I was using... I'm on a Mac, so I was using Preview or whatever it's called. I, uh, I'm on a Mac and I did a um, keynote presentation. Ah, right. The easy way to do it. Uh, at half past seven this morning, I didn't quite have the time. <laughs> right. Well, I'll save that for later then. I right, over to you, Peter or Alan. Perhaps Diana. Okay. Uh, some snaily things coming up. Mm. Aussie style. Yeah, the spiral go the opposite way and down under, don't they? It's like water going down a plug hole. Yes, quite. Have you got um, my PowerPoint coming up? Yes. Have you got um, an ammonite that I took at yes. Geoscience? Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay, so I do voluntary work at Geoscience Australia, which is in Canberra. And what I do there is to photograph rocks and minerals. And just for a change, I decided to grab a fossil and try and do that one. So that's a good example of a, a spiral looking th through the fossil. And mm -hmm. I've put some backlighting into it as well so you can see through it a bit. And then that's from your down your way um, in Lyme Regis. And that is actually only about one, one and a half centimetres in size. So I did it in a light box with my macro. And what I've done to that, I've used, because Peter said, uh, play around with some filters and I couldn't find the filters he was talking about, but I found my own. So right. I've, I've enhanced. Oh, yeah. That's so that was fit the in Photoshop where it says filter at the top of the screen. I went, clicked on that, and then photo gallery. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yes. And that's one that I found at Lyme Regis. It's another small one, uh, about one and a half centimeters, and it's got pyrites around the outside. That's the original photo, and then I tried some filters on that. Ah. Uh -huh. Yes, that's very graphic. Yeah. And then this is one that I've had for years and years. So I used to work in London in the university, one of the universities there, and uh, they were going to throw this sample away. And so I said, oh, I'd like to take it home. And so I photographed that. That's a bit bigger. It's probably about six or seven centimetres across. And I decided to just take the centerpiece out of it and make it black and white. Ah, yes. And then I did some uh, filters on it. And I don't like the one on the left very much. It makes me feel like my eyes are going weird. Yes, yeah, um, <laughs> The one on the right was, I did a YouTube um, search and about filters. And they directed me down to the bottom of the Photoshop to this thing called Create New Fill or Adjustment Layer Color Lookup. So I tried that one out. Ah. It came out as a greeny sort of color. Yes. Excellent. And these are more recent, they're not fossils. Uh, and again, they're all very small. So that's that one. And I put filters on it and yes. ah, it's got stuck. Mm. Oh, yeah. Good, yes. <laughs> Distort, diffuse, glow. Yes. Stylized, glowing, glowing edges. Yes, glowing edges is very good. 
<laughs> yeah, it looks it looks good on my screen, and I tested it out on my husband's screen a little while ago, and it didn't look very good on there. So I think it might be variable what you see. Mm. I think the one on the left is good. The <laughs> orange looks like orange. No, then yeah, that one on your on the left. Five. Yeah. People. It's brought out the orange that was in the original one, I think. Yeah, I think that that's really good. Yeah, I, I was quite pleased with those. And I didn't yeah, choose the backgrounds. Yeah. That's a good uh, pictures. I had fun just trying all, all the different filters out. And that's all, these are all quite small shells. Um, so I decided I was getting fed up with the filters and I just decided to do some saturation and I got the green effect on that one. I see, yes. And then I think this is the last one. So the one on the left, I was, I've, when I work at Geoscience, I have to be consistent with the background color and it's either black, which is an RGB of zero, 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 or I use, 196 for all of the colours and it comes out like an off-white colour and I just thought just for a change I'll go with a blue so <laughs> I made the background blue and then with the one on the right I think it picked up two versions like I did um, the cutout one and then which is sort of the jagged sort of look which you get up and down here and then I think it did plastic wrap as well and added, to, added it together. But I, it wasn't intentional, but it came out quite well. But it does on my screen anyway. Looks like a hexagonal pattern behind, is that right? Yeah, 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 it is. And did you, Stan, did you do something there and put that little marks on? No, yeah, I didn't. Somebody's, somebody's put some yellow well, bits on. They came up as being done by Stan. Oh, so, well, yeah, that's I mean, what I saw too. No, I had a I had a phone call and I was I, and I was trying to uh, cut cut the voice out and obviously I clicked on something. So <laughs> it doesn't I, matter. <laughs> no, I think I did, I don't know how I did it and I don't know how to get rid of it. <laughs> it, does, it really doesn't matter. <laughs> so that, that's it. Lovely. Thank you very much, Diana. <laughs> Excellent uh, variety. Yeah, I had quite good fun with those, but um, quite a few of the fossils I took a year ago, uh, last year or the year before. Yeah. And so I just yeah. dug them out and then put the filters on them. But the shells I did this week. Very good. Anybody else? We, do, we have some. We have some. Are you going first or Elizabeth? Well, go, well I, okay. Well, we're doing them together basically. Okay. Share screen. Fair <clears throat> right. case, yes. Right. This is uh, this was at Dilston Castle in Swanage. I didn't make a, a special journey to take it, which I would have done, but I already done it a couple of years ago. So that was Dilston Park, Dilston. Castle, Swanage, okay. Right. Don't know that. Right? Don't know that castle. We do, yeah, yeah. This was taken earlier in the season, anticipating that you were going to ask us for spirals. That <laughs> was... <And> yes. <laughs> that was brilliant. Yeah. Was, wasn't it? Yes. And there's, there's several spirals on there on the on the step door. This was taken obviously in a field with a rope on a post, as you can see. Yeah. Uh, the one side, because I thought it might be nice just to see the background with the sheep, although obviously the main point of interest is the rope. Yes. Um, Quite right. Yes, very good. Moving on. More rope. More rope. Again, I was just trying to make them look interesting rather than just it being a rope. Trying to make it look interesting with a 
a blurred background, basically. No filters, just a, just using a, uh, a very shallow aperture. That was a tree. A what? A tree. I, I can't tell you the name of it, um, but it's a tree and it's being held by my son. Nice. Uh, there are lots of spirals on that one. It's made of willow, is it? It probably is, I don't know. I'll tell you. Right. Now that's how that <laughs> is has cut an apple, Alan. <laughs> that's clever. Watching, you see, you know, that his is how to do it. Now you notice how long that is and also how neat it is. Hopeful. <laughs> and rivalry here, I can see. <laughs> <laughs> right. Must have been a huge apple. <laughs> no, no, it's a tiny little thing. <laughs> you know, it's just We're creeping now. <laughs> right. Ah. Bottle holder. Wine bottle holder. Can't read the name of the wine. <laughs> a bottle of wine. Okay. I hope you like that, Elaine. Can't see the uh, the mate. <laughs> Uh, yes, yeah, very good. <laughs> <laughs> and there's the same, the same object photographed from a different position. Yes, that's definitely spiral. Yes. Okay, those are mine and Elizabeth's now. There we are. How do you get a piece of wire with three ends rather than four? <laughs> yes, there you go, Richard. <laughs> Pass on that one. <laughs> right. Oh, uh, right. Okay. Spell, but my spell was crawling, I'm afraid. Oh, okay. Five spell, yes. Very good. Yes, it's nice and sharp, isn't it? Mm. it didn't move that fast. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's that one. That's a cut glass falls with a spiral feet on it. it oh yeah. It's, it, it, well, it's a fruit bowl, isn't it? It's, it's yeah. upside down basically, so that's one of the legs. Right. Excellent. It's very, very difficult to photograph glass, isn't it? With a couple of discs. Yes. Mm. I like the two apples in the background. <laughs> oh. That's where he got the peel from, presumably. Exactly, Alan. You see, you're not very big, can't you? <laughs> <laughs> no, we can't. <laughs> Hold holder, yeah. Yes, that's, um, uh, what do you call those things? Hmm. Plant holder, yes. A basket, <laughs> uh, hanging basket, yeah. Hanging basket, yeah. of course. I don't know what you think about this, but I just thought it was a lotus kind of spiral, but you yeah. might think that. Yes. Fine. Yeah. What's that called? That's um, Fibonacci uh, spirals. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> What's the plant called? That's what I'm trying to remember. <laughs> What's it called? Um, oh, you got one more. Yeah, one more. I might just, oh, one more. Right. That's, it's just a spiral going up in a, a, oh, yeah. a, a ring binder. Ring yeah. thing. Oh, it's a book. I see. Yes, yes. It's a binder. Okay, that's what I did. Yeah, we, we, we tried to make some of these, you know, rather mundane things, try and try to make them look attractive. Yes, well, very good. Thank you very much indeed. Okay. Any, or any more? I mean, after that, that's very I good. I have some, Peter, if you want to see them, but one's illegal because you've already told me. Illegal? <laughs> well, better see that one, haven't we? <laughs> They're all, all curious now. <laughs> yes, come on, Richard. I'm muted. You are muted. Muted. I know I'm muted. I can't find where I'm supposed to be. <laughs> oh, after all that build up. <laughs> He's talking away. It's the photographic Gestapo we're after him. That's why he can't find it. Oh, something's happened. Looking at uh, Peter's picture, I don't know why that's on there, but that's another story.
you doing? What's he doing? Ah, I see. Right. Oh, yeah. Below spirals, yes. Oh, um. Mm. What do you call that, Richard? Flower. Muted, Richard. Right, I think you can hear me now. <laughs> yes. When I do that, it increments um, the pictures. When you press the space bar, you go on to the next picture, whether you like it or not. Press the arrow keys. That's what I'm doing. But the trouble is the space bar does the same thing on my keyboard. Yeah, it should do, yeah. And that the background, the blue background was spiral, but it doesn't look as spiral on there, but it just looked interesting because it was litching on a can canvas sail. I see. Right. Okay. Uh, I think that one you'd accept was a spiral. Yes, yes. And that's the one you said is illegal, I believe. Did I? Well, you said somebody else who got a coil of rope was illegal, so... Oh, that's not illegal, of course not. Oh, well, as far as I'm concerned, that's a spiral, whether you like it or not. <laughs> Lovely, I think. Very good spiral. I think that's probably it. Right. OK, Richard, thank you very much indeed. Yes, that's it. Yeah, excellent. Oh. Has anybody left? I haven't shown us anything. Can I, can I just say, there's one spiral that I was hoping to see this morning, and that was a 99 ice cream. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, flake. <laughs> I have got a few. You're an hour too late. I've had it. <laughs> <laughs> flake tapped. Shall I share? I've, I've got a few. Okay, okay. I thought you hadn't done me. Right. No, I as far as I have. I haven't done much work on them, but I've got a few. Okay. Uh, now, is this the way you do this? Oh, golly. <laughs> Hang on. Are you seeing the thumbnails? Not yet. Got a black screen. That's better. Yes. Uh, got the thumbnails now. Oh, as if I've now done this so that you can see the individual picture. Yeah. yeah. I see spiral my staircase. Or are you still seeing the thumbnails? Still the thumbnails. Mm. I'm still seeing the thumbnail. Mm. In that case, I'll stop sharing. Hang on, I'll have to come out. One of these days, you'll use Fast Stone Viewer, won't you? Well, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> right, okay, so now let's go up, back in. Here we go. Try sharing. Low system resources. Oh dear, this doesn't look good. Right. Yeah. Share. Oh, oh. oh that's, that's it. Are you yeah. seeing that now? Yes. Banister. Okay. So that's a banister on my very old fashioned stairs. Mm. And oh, I think I've got David's problem now. I can't turn right. Oh. Oh dear. This Windows Photos, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, normally it works, doesn't it? I've got your problems, um, David. Oh, what a shame. Anyway, what we'll do is if we go, I don't know why that's not working. Normally it does. Does it work with the arrow keys? I tried both. Oh. Um, oh well. We might just have to look at the thumbnails. <laughs> have you got Photoscape, Elaine? No, I don't. Can you see the thumbnails coming up? Yes, yes. the thumbnails are there, no problem. Uh, well, I'll try clicking on them, but I don't think it works. Double click. It works ice cream. Does it come up for you? <coughs> you still, still have the thumbnails. Not yet. <laughs> We'll leave it a little bit because we know how slow my thing is. Oh, well, if that's not coming up, see, because I'm looking at the thing now, but it's not coming to you. Correct. Oh, oh, well. It's got the tick in the box, but that's all. Yeah. <coughs> well, you might have to get your noses to your screens. 
Um, because I got a spiral a, a close up. It's a real pity, actually. Oh, and then there's some um, the spirals of fir cone. And I did the spiral of a ring binder, same as other people have done. Can you try um, can you try control and plus? Control and plus. To to enlarge. Okay, hang on. Oh, it's gone to 120%. What does that do? <coughs> There's like nothing. I'm on a Windows. Yeah, yes. But uh, we're not doing anything on our screens. No, it's not doing anything on mine either. I assume you haven't got Fast Home Viewer on there. No, I don't. This... Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come. The one I'm proudest of is this one down here, which is a roll of paper. Right. <laughs> We believe you. <laughs> you can see that one anyway. There you go. And, and and that's a spiral of a red cabbage. And that's my telephone coil. But the one I'm oh. most proud of is this cork. <laughs> Why? Why? Still, Why? still damp. I've it, got my it's magnifying still, it's still damp, yes. I've uh, got my magnifying spiral, glass. It's the spirals of the wire that goes around the cork bottle. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I see. <laughs> yes. If you get your magnifying glasses up. Yeah, exactly. I know. Sorry about that. No, I can see um, it well. <laughs> I might, I might just. Uh, I don't know if I can just. I'm, I'll just go on to that one, and then this is the same problem you had, isn't it, David? Go back out, come back in again. Into you. He's got his big magnifying glass. Look, you've got your magnifying glass up. Come on to that one. Can you see my champagne bottle now? Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, full screen. And big. Full screen. And big. Yes. So that that was my best one. Oh, so, oh yeah. yes, I now. like that one. And and is this moving and along now? Yes. Yeah. Is that fine? Oh well, it's moving along. Oh, hang on. Right. Well, that was that was. I tried to turn the thing round so that it was a Fibonacci whatnot. And that's the one I like the best. It's the spiral roll of yeah. paper. Mm. I like it. Yes. And my red cabbage. Mm. Yep. Yes. Well, it's hard yes. to just. Well, you wouldn't know it's a red cabbage. This is why I'm telling you it's a red cabbage. And okay. that's the spiral from, you know, the telephone <laughs> connecting wire thing. Yeah. I, I did several different, you know, takes of that. And I thought that was the, the more interesting version of it. Yes. And then there's a ring binder, which lots of people have done. And I tried to play with the aperture to yeah. make it a bit more funky. So that was blurred and this bit was right. But anyway, there you go. Worked, <clears throat> and then the um, the spirals of the fir cones. It's not so obvious from that this angle as it is from that angle that they are actually spirals going round. Um, yes, I could yes. have been a bit more inventive with the background apart from my carpet. <laughs> <laughs> and that's and I tried to I tried to align. My banister, I was sitting on the banister trying to get it in the way that you see those pictures that tell you about the Fibonacci trying, you know, the uh, yes, that composition thing, which has got the Fibonacci spiral. That one, yes. yes. I tried to get this to replicate that and it didn't work. But anyway, there you go. So wow. that was the lot. Thank but you I very much. I had great fun doing it. And I'm because now this is interesting because this is what I did when I first clicked on it and it didn't work, did it, the first time round? No. So maybe, David, you might have another go at your pictures maybe it'll work after it's had a bit of indigestion time you might want to, to show yours again because maybe <laughs> thank you for your patience because that's exactly what i did when i first screen shared but it didn't want to turn right did it strange huh? very strange could yeah. you not have turned left <laughs> no that was the end and i'm afraid to say I, I i i was looking i knew i'd got one um the queen's house in the national maritime museum has got a very good spiral staircase. Um, and I knew I've taken a picture of that last year, but I've had a, I'm being very brave about it, but I've, I think I've lost all my photos from last year because my, my, my hard drive that I put them all on has died and my backup, I'm about to hit it to see if the backup's got the same issue. Because unfortunately my two backup hard drives were the same brand. Yes. And one of them has just got corrupted completely and has died. So I'm in, I'm being very brave, but having now spent two weeks on a field in Anglesey, I'm coming back and I'm, I've got to see if I've lost all my photos from last year. And I knew that the spiral staircase was one I took in 
January before lockdown. So anyway, but that's that's a very good spiral staircase. Is Queen's House National Maritime Museum. Elaine, um, my, my spiral staircase is from Urbino in Italy. Urbino, okay. Yeah. Well, if the, I ever get abroad again, I know where to go. <laughs> there's an article in which magazine about backups, and the recommendation is that you have three backups, all from different manufacturers, um, and two with hard disks and one with an SSD. Yeah, well, I, I have four, but unfortunately in lockdown, two of them are at my friend's house and I haven't I hadn't got to them to add pictures to those so I just had the two that are in my house and silly same brand I've got all SSD drives and you never get any trouble them now what you do you even if you kick them around the floor and put them back in again they still work yeah I've just bought SSDs now <laughs> well <Can you> buy <laughs> external drives Richard no internal. I've got five internal in the computer we're using at the moment. Oh, well, mine's got seven in already. I can't get any more in. I was wondering if you can get external drives that were SSDs. Yes, you can. Yeah. yeah. I've just bought one. Um, anyway. Well, my external drive has also gone kaput at the moment. And mm. I discovered that there's a, a repair cafe not far away. I thought I might take it down there, see if they could revive it. Because I've used the recover program to extract pictures and it extracted a few but most of them not extracted and I, I'm rather worried about that because there's yeah. quite a lot of pictures on that drive but I mean, I, we're, we're know, being very brave I'll tell you something else um, Tony Oliver who's, who's a member of the camera club here um, I was, was talking to him yesterday and he said um, he uh, has several hard drives full of pictures that he takes away and puts somewhere else. So he's got several of them. When he fills them up, he buys another one and continues filling up his filling up his drives that way and just then not using them. Well, that that, basically, the two that are at my friend's house, that's that, but I haven't updated them since last year. Right, okay. Fine. If, they're, if they're mechanical drives, Peter, it doesn't matter, just moving it is enough to knacker it or break it, or whatever you like to call it. Oh, that, yes, I'm not well aware of that. <laughs> I've got some as well. Well, fingers crossed for everybody. Peter, <laughs> I've got some photos as well. Sorry, Rich, uh, Terry, yes. Oh, forgotten about you, yes. Please show us your pictures. We're all dying to see them. I must say, Spiral seems to have attracted your attention. This is Farstone Viewer. Okay, so um, that's taken on HMS Victory um, oh. in Portsmouth. Mm -hmm. So you've got all the rope work. Yep. Is that that yep. one is um, at Rockbourne. <laughs> right. Um, that one is Wardour Castle. Oh, yes, yes. That one is on the Isle of Wight at the um, Steam Railway. Oh, I like that one. I love white. Good, isn't it? Um, that one is on Steamship Shield Hall. Oh, yes. That one is um, just along the road from me, one of the um, Jacob's sheep. Mm -hmm. um, that was something I had the other day. <laughs> You can see the spirals on the um, label of the beer. Are you left-handed? Um, no, I'm not actually, but uh, it was just how I how I put the um, uh, tankard and the bottle. Yeah, you can understand why I said that. I yes. actually no, I actually put that so that uh, you could get the. Um, uh, inscription on the front but uh, uh yes that was 20 years ago um this one was taken this weekend at um imber um on a, a motorbike outside the um parking at the church there i went there for its last day opening of this summer very good yes this one is a very failed 
um, effort at making my own spiral. Yes. Um, I had a piece of rope and uh, I thought, how can I get this to stand up? Mm. So I laced it with lots of um, white glue and it still wouldn't work. So I wound <laughs> electrical cable around it and I still couldn't get it quite right. So I gave up. <laughs> You can see what I was trying to achieve. Yeah, that's a good attempt, that. A good attempt. It just didn't work. If I'd have spent a bit more time, I might have got it work right. Okay. Like now we've got a Fibonacci. Oh, yes, yes. Um, uh, shells from our bathroom. And I decided to put those into black and white. But we'll have another one as well. So you can there see the rope and how I used it. Um, for another shot as well. And I drew the Fibonacci out on a very large sheet of um, white card. And it took me about an hour to draw the squares up and then to use variants of compass sizes um, to get the, the correct um, cir circular parts. Right, yeah. yes. When you put the rope, that's the same rope that you made the spiral with. Yes, <laughs> but that was before I made the, the other spiral. Yes, obviously, yes. <laughs> Very good. Before you put the white glue on. Yes. And that's... That's, that's a lot. lot. Pretty good. Excellent. Well... It's, a, it's uh, 11 o'clock and we've seen an amazing array of spirals. I'm amazed, quite amazed. <laughs> it was a much better subject than the ones you've been giving us for the last six months. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to disappoint Well said, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> don't change your mind, Peter. We don't want any more of your rubbish. <laughs> I think Nobody resurrected the spiralizer out of the kitchen. I think we were inspired. <laughs> Peter, can I suggest you ask the members what they would like rather than you make it up? They may well, well be better than you. They can always send me um, uh, suggestions by email. I'll be very happy to accept um, well, the suggestions. I, they're all sitting there. Ask them now. All right. Um, can you ask them for me, Stan? You all heard what I've said. Has anybody got any suggestions? I'm writing them. I've got a pen there. I'm ready, poised, ready. Yes. <laughs> Go. How about bench, bench seats? Because there's lots of seats around town and everywhere else, but a nice picture of a bench would be different. Right. Okay. Any others? How about panning? Oh, yes. I think I've gone over that, but yes. Um, we could do what, it about mo what about motion? Motion? Well, similar, yes. Motion is good. Yeah. Okay. Smoke moving in the wind. Yes. Anybody else? But then they suggest Elaine, you must have some ideas. No, I'm here to get ideas. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was going to say maybe just choose a colour and say something blue. Or um, I must admit, my last group, I said because I couldn't think of anything, and I just said, "Make do anything that makes you feel happy." And actually, they really had trouble because it was too too vague. Too, too vague. Yeah. So having something specific. I think has has hit the nail on the head, like the spirals. How what about, about what about bridges? Bridges, yes. Yeah. With my lot, I have to be careful because people aren't actually. Surprisingly, people are still not going out. So something like bench seats. So I'm. I have to think of something that they can do in their garden or in their house, because there's yeah. still people who are very nervous. And so to go for bench seats and bridges would be a bridge too far. Five years ago, I set a subject because I was setting the set subject of shopping trolleys. But the camera club went absolutely realistic <laughs> and said, why do you want shopping trolleys? But they make some superb pictures, some of them. And it's yeah. called for now they're stacked and what they've got on them. And so that's yeah, another that's... suggestion, Peter. Yeah, OK, trolleys. Shopping trolleys, not just trolleys. Well, why not have all other trolleys? Well, because you've got Tesco's, you've got Safeways, you've got... <laughs> they all got different labels on them. Shopping as well. Stacked in different ways and shapes. 
Can, yeah. can I just, with that in mind then, can I just do a straw poll of people here? How many people are actually going to the supermarkets rather than getting a delivery? Yes, uh, I go to the supermarket. I've been there this morning. Yeah. Well, we're, we're in lockdown still. Well, exactly. So you'd have to say shopping trolley or the crates that they, they deliver you. <laughs> we don't even get the crates. They, they've oh, stopped doing that as well. They come in bags, do they? Yeah, paper bags. Oh, very good. Paper. Well, I, I pay extra to get paper because I don't like plastic. Oh, we, right. we, they hey. don't even offer that to us. That's a great idea. We, well, use, we use Iceland, uh, the frozen food place, because they deliver in carrier bags. So you're not like Tesco's where you've got to unload at the door. All they do is they dump the, the carrier bags outside your house. So, you know, you're not uh, reacting with the delivery man for an overly long time. And can you, re yeah, can they... you recycle the carrier bags then so that they bring the same ones next time or, or you're constantly getting five or six new plastic carrier bags each time? Yeah, that's the downside with that. Mm. Anyway, we get our as... dropped at the front door. You can still drive around to a supermarket and take pictures of the trolleys. You don't need to go inside. No, I, I, I agree. I know that. But I'm just trying to think ahead for some of my group who are still very in Very twitchy, yes, understandable, yes. Uh, any ideas, Roger? You're the man with the ideas. <laughs> what about cutlery? Cutlery, yes. yes it's for... sort of slightly still life sort of thing. Interaction of forks. <laughs> That's quite a common thing, isn't it? Mm. Uh, I don't have to go and smash all my plates on the floor to take a picture, do I? <laughs> That's crockery. <coughs> well, then, Dan, you see, the problem with um, democracy is you get this sort of plethora of ideas, and then you've got to choose from that. <laughs> well, you can't use them all at once, but you can use them over a period of time. Yes. Well, sorry to that, you could ask one person a week and tell it who it is, that that's what it's going to be, and then that would be it for the next month. They would, they would choose the topic? Yes. Right. Just select one person and say, it's your turn to choose the topic this week. Russia. I could choose kangaroos. That would stump you all. <laughs> that, <wouldn't. laughs> that went through. That went through. I, I've got pictures of kangaroos, actually. Yeah, I've got some too. I'd quite like to go to Australia again, but I can't go there, apparently, unless I'm prepared to spend a fortnight in quarantine. You don't have to go to Australia. I didn't say you did, but that's where I took mine. Anyway. We've got sun in Australia, you see. It's a lot easier. Stop, oh, stop, stop. <laughs> I think it's time we moved on to the topic that I have suggest, uh, thought of. For this, Here we go. Which will terribly disappoint you, by, I'm sure. Yes, I... <laughs> Reflections, or perfect reflections, perfect reflections to be precise. Oh. And, um, so if I can just find the bit I need, um, wherever that is, is it um, this one? Yes. <laughs> right. If I now try sharing, wherever you are. Very good, Diane. <laughs> Miss that. I was doing something else. What were you doing? <laughs> Look at Diane's background. Oh, yes, yes. That'll do. Yes, that's pretty good. That's the sort I've of thing done my homework. Again, she's beaten me to it again. Anyway, I got this idea from this um, digital photo school thing, which I think is Australian, uh, Diana. Yes. Yeah, probably. I think so. So that that was. I don't know how they did that. This picture, but it, it tells you later on, doesn't it? But anyway, this is the article that sort of thought ah reflections, but it talked about perfect reflections. And that means if uh, if you're using say water, you can't use running water particularly because that's not you won't get a perfect reflection. So that was mm. one of the points. Um, it, here he talks about the science of reflection, which of course I don't think we need to worry about. What well, happens, Peter, if you just cut the picture in two and turn the bottom half upside down? Is that not a reflection? That's yes. cheating. <laughs> Peter, can I say I think you're making it far too complicated. The word oh, reflection is, is enough. 
because I've done it with my photographic group, my U3 photographic group, and I've had marvellous pictures by just using the word reflections. Okay, I was just going along with this article, you see. You don't need, well, you don't need it. Graduate. It's a slight variation on uh, ordinary reflections. That was all. I was trying to, trying to narrow it down a bit. So that was all I was trying to do. Uh, if people think it's too hard, then uh, it really is too hard, I suspect. But having reflections of all sorts is, uh, well, it's all right, I guess. But uh, um, I thought maybe we could try this. I'm in charge. Happy. Um, well, it, uh, this, this phrase here, um, which I'm highlighting, um, puzzles me a bit. Or in fact, all the way down, puzzles me right down. <laughs> Talks about seeing yourself in a mirror and then you stand to one side and what do you see then? You see, it's at the extreme edge of the, well, when you reach the extreme edge of the mirror and look across, you see the room you're standing in duplicated as a mirror image. I didn't understand that sentence at all. I don't quite know what he's after. I think what he's after is saying that, see a view above and below, and so the mirror would be above and below. I think that's what he's trying to say. I don't think he put it across. So, um, so that's quite a good reflection. I wouldn't necessarily say that's perfect, but it is pretty good. Um, and it talks about the surfaces that are reflective, metal, glass, marble, and water. Um, you can have your perfect reflection. If you use any of that, I wouldn't have thought. Well, yeah, mirrors, in fact, never give perfect reflections, Richard, because they've got, you've got the double thickness of the glass. Haven't you? Sure. But water can be pretty good. Uh, mercury, they haven't mentioned mercury. I suppose that's a metal, but uh, <laughs> um, anyone got any mercury at home? In your mouth. With a thermometer. In, the thermometer. In, in your mouth with amalgam fillings. I had, a, I had a, a two and a half pounds of mercury to get rid of, and it's extremely difficult to get rid of it, believe it or not. Yeah, I took it down to Salisbury Tip, and they threw their hands in the air and said, you can't leave that here. <laughs> Which anyway. begs the question, why did you have two pounds of mercury in the first place? Because it came out of a massive water barometer, believe it or not. A water barometer? Yeah, it was water at the top and mercury at the bottom, and it smashed. <laughs> and it smashed inside a van and then comes the problem how you get it all out without destroying the fl floor of the van <laughs> you tipped the van up yeah I'm sure that's what we ended up having to do we brushed it out that hill. as long as we had that van you could always see the mercury floating around <laughs> oh really yeah um moving on <laughs> yes finding reflections um windows on high streets or glass protecting commuters from the track in subway stations. Do we have that? Yes, I suppose we do. Um, bodies of water, ponds and lakes, but not rivers. The moat round a castle. Uh, puddles, I thought that was the most likely in England, except we haven't had any rain for ages. We're going to get some <laughs> next week, don't worry. Yeah, I'm sure we shall. There's a, there's a nice puddle. Uh, the, but the thing about this puddle is it's got a nice bright red thing. As, as an eye catcher. So that's one of the things you need to consider when you take a photograph with a reflection. It's got up a center of interest, as all other pictures, of course, as, as I'm sure Stan will tell us. Create your own, so take it a bucket of water along and make your own puddle, you see. <laughs> I didn't about. have to do this, Peter, with my group. I just, we just said, everybody said the word reflections and off they went and they individually created a lot of very interesting pictures. Uh, don't need, you don't need Peter, all this. Peter, I have to leave you for the moment. Uh, okay, David. Right, see you anon. Um, Thank you. Uh, know what's happening anyway. Right, okay. Um, yes, uh, reflections. Uh, well, I can change it. I don't mind. It's not, sorry, it doesn't worry me whether you do perfect reflections or just reflections. So we'll call it reflections, and I haven't named it anything else but reflections in my notes, so it won't change anything here. I think we but, might just as well call it reflection. If you want to make a perfect one, that's up to you. 
I don't know what you mean by perfect in the end. So this particular yeah. thing, picture, this picture here, it says the result of making a reflection using buckets of water. Can you believe that? But the buckets of water in the foreground, perhaps. I thought this was to do with the reflections, but I don't know. No, the picture is about reflections. It doesn't matter how it's been created. You look at that picture, that's what you're looking at. How it was done, it doesn't matter. Yes, but they put a bucket of water down on the, the ground. bucket of water got nothing to do with that picture. <laughs> it has. It would have they've, been, emptied, uh, they've emptied the water on the on the street or whatever the, the reflective surface is. Yes. That's yeah, right. Does that matter? Does that matter? With a bucket of water, you have some pretty tall buildings there. You must have had to cover an enormous amount of grain to cover <laughs> that with water. Well, the police would have stopped you by then. <laughs> almost certainly. Well, think, think about this picture. That's the point. <laughs> Obviously, a very low viewpoint. And a I think I'm going to rather walk to a lake rather than take 29 buckets of water to Mill Hill Broadway. Don't well, jump in while you're there. <laughs> I think that buckets of water are probably not a good idea. Anyway, it talks about enhancing the pictures and so on. So it's worth looking at this image, just this site at least. And Simon Bond, oh, he, that's right, he talks about something else. Where is it now? Yes, he talks about um, this this guide, I think he says. Is that the one? I'll click on that. You'll probably, you'll probably lose my picture. Yes, this is it. He talks about using getting awesome reflections using Photoshop. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I've, I want, I've gone through this page and using Photoshop, the way he does it, makes it look immensely complicated. And I'm sure nobody, especially Anne Smith, will ever like this. But I'll just, just show you what he does. That's the final result, well, I think. So the top is brighter than the bottom. Uh, and this, this is sort of slightly wobbly and things. So he's, he's, he's modified it. So why well, isn't it doing anything? Oh, it suddenly went. So he adjusts the canvas size by putting a bit at the bottom. I don't know how that works like that. Uh, and then, in fact, I've, my, um, my website address is, does, does just this. Um, then he turns it upside down. Yes, I've forgotten I've done that. I've already done a, I've done a, a tutorial on this. <laughs> Uh, which follows this entire thing, yes. So he, he, he puts texture on it, he put, modifies, oh, he puts perspective in the distortion, like that, which you need a proper Photoshop to do. And then, uh, I don't know what else he does. I, I think that's just ridiculously complicated compared to what else you can do using the flood filter, which does exactly what that is. We've come across the blood filter before, have we not? Peter, as this is practical photography, ought we not to actually be going out and photographing? Yes, the yes, yes. In Photoshop so, or software. I'm just asking for reflections. I'm not saying they must be real, real photographs. I know you are, but, but what you're suggesting now with software is more appropriate to last week's session, isn't it? Yes, is it? Yes, yes. Practical, practical photography. Yes, yes, I'm being told up all the time today, aren't I? <laughs> I know what Dan was saying, you know, it's the picture that counts, but I think in this case, it's really how you create the picture that counts, but that's just my, my view. That's how I should do it anyway. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Now, what's next on my list of things? Um, oh, yes, I was going to show you uh, a list of pictures or so. I've already done it, I don't know, what have I done here? Um, it's not the right page, page I want, not this page I want. That. So, just a minute, where's it gone? I made a little slideshow here. Oh, you probably can't see it, just thinking about it. No, we're Stop. still seeing your original. Um... Okay. Web page. So I've got to stop doing what I'm doing because I can't see anything else. Is that the one? Where are you? Can't see where you are now. Well, you're here, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> I stopped sharing. I do a different share, new share. That's what I want. Um, that's the right one. You should see the screen there. If I click on that, 
Do you still wonder if you still see it? You've seen thumbnails. You don't see anything else. You see a Brockhampton. Can you see? You see <laughs> I've got a slideshow I'm running now with a blue no, background. You're not. Well, I am, but you can't see it. Right. That is so, correct. How can I? How can I get you to see it? That's the snag. Um, I can get it running, but I can't see it on my share. Oh, there it is. Oh, no, no, that's what I'm doing. Um, Look, so I can show you that. I have to do it. I have to do it manually. Stop! Oh, stop doing it. Come on, stop! How do I get out of that? Stop sharing. It's the only way to do it at the moment. Start again. Um, yes, I want to go to faster and viewer here. Share that one. Start off with that one. Can you see that? Single yes, picture. indeed. Yeah. Black background. It's not what I wanted to show, but anyway, that is a photograph of this little gatehouse at a place called Brockhampton. And that's the bridge over it. That's um, quite a good thing. I use flood for that, uh, to Roger, I might point out. <laughs> However, not all of them are done by that. The next one, is straightforward. Oh no, that's the flood filter as well. Oh, it wasn't, it was another one. I've forgotten that. This is another filter I've forgotten about, where you can produce moving water. But you wouldn't like that, would you, Roger? I mean, that's terrible. <laughs> no, I approve of these things, but it's just that, to me, yeah. that is a digital, that, you know, the, the course that we're doing last week. So you could do it in practical photography, but there is another way of doing it. Using yeah. digital, I mean that's just that's that's just my view. You see um, a little bit of reflection on the bottom of that picture of this same same building, same photograph. Yeah, this I think it. Peter, in my view, I mean, I will send you some pictures of reflections by my group, which we've done recently, oh, and good. it's purely and simply done with the camera. Okay, good. That's what we want, and and okay. that and that is what I think you need to do. Mm -hmm. you're in, you, you are a complicated person. Right, you're, you're, you're very bright. You come up with these ideas, but to right. simplify it at times, I think works better. And yes, using the camera to make to take pictures or reflections. Um, whether I, I can, whether other, I can, which is sorry, why I'm using photographs sometimes. Anyway, this is my original photograph of that Brockhampton gatehouse. And I think that might be even more of the original, I can't remember. Anyway, here are some other pictures I've taken over, over the years. This one is in Halifax, uh, a tower in a water tower, I think, one of the old mills they used to have. Uh, there's another one taken in Halifax. And I thought the chimney was somewhat evocative and a, and a reflection in a puddle, which we've been talking about. It needs brightening up, that one, doesn't it? It's a bit dull. Um, anyway, there it is. Uh, here's one that is brightened up. This is in the Lake District. Now that's that's taken with a camera, and that's a lovely picture of reflections. Pure and simple. Thank you, Stan. That's most kind. <laughs> and actually, you concur with Stan on that point as well. <laughs> what do you What do you think of that one? Not as good. I rather like the fact that you can see through the water. Mm. Uh, That's pretty good. Top left, you see that it's not by me, it's by somebody called Regina and something or other. I can't quite read the name. But I nicked a few from the internet. And this is one I did. And this is another one I thought was rather clever. Uh, another, another puddle picture. Put your own hand in it. <laughs> Looking a bit scary. Um, this one was by somebody called Hannah Wright. That's quite a nice picture. I didn't have any to hand, you see, so I thought I'd just have a few samples from the internet to show what I thought could be good reflections. What I don't understand with that one, why is the tree at the bottom bigger than the tree at the top if it's a reflection? Um, 
The one on the left hand side I'm talking about. It's the way reflections work, Richard. You look from a different angle, aren't you? It's because it's you're closer to the water than the tree was to you. Is that what you're saying? Thinking about it, the reflection from the water is from below the water, in effect. You're looking upwards from way below the water, effectively, if you look at the uh, physics of it. Yes, OK. That's right, isn't it, Diana? Oh, she's, she's muted. Um, I'll agree with you. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> right, here's another puzzle one. If you like, so that was quite clever. That's from by Intrajit Chowdhury. From yeah, but that's up. not a. Ref is that a picture of reflection? Or was a reflection in the puddle there? You can see the trainers in the puddle underneath his feet. Well, you can see that, yes. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Um, that but is it a straightforward photograph, or is, has it been manipulated? It's really straightforward. Right. Okay. Fine. It's from Unsplash, if you know that uh, that website. It's full of free pictures. Um, uh, I think they're um, copyright free pictures. And I thought that was brilliant, utterly brilliant, wherever it is. I don't recognize it. I think that's my last one. Is that, the road, that's, is that the rotating? No, I don't think it is. Bridge, uh, no, maybe not. I don't know, I don't know what it is exactly. Well, there are people in it, so and bicycles. Makes an interesting photograph. Beyond that, I'm not sure what I mean. <laughs> well, it has a reflection. Peter, can I suggest? Can I suggest if other members would like it, if I send you some pictures from my group of their reflection pictures, um, would you would would other people in the group like to see them? Get some ideas. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yeah, yeah can you? Are you doing it now? Uh, well, no, I can't because I'm using my computer to watch this. <laughs> oh dear. Well, I can, okay, fair enough. Um, I'll send it to you when we finish. Um, or I can either send them to you for you to send out, or if you want to give me everybody's email address, I can send it to everybody. We should not be doing that, Stan. Email well, addresses are secret and should they come under the data protection, so you definitely well, ought not to be doing that. Okay. I'm, I'm you can do it as a blind copy. I'm perfectly happy for Stan to have my email. In fact, and I would me. love to have his email. <laughs> I'm happy too. I'm happy as well, Stan. I haven't got a problem with that. Yeah. Neither have I. It's the principle that came to that. <laughs> yeah, no, it has to be said, but you've got everybody's permission, so... <laughs> So if you send me their if you send me their email addresses, Peter, I will select the pictures and send them to. And bear in mind they are all from my U3A photographic group. I've not enhanced them at all. And they're all happy for us to see them, are they? Yes. Oh yes. Stan, I'll send you my list that I have okay. on a notepad or something like that. Okay. Now there's another mountain. Can you see the mountains? Scenery, yeah. yeah. And the final one is this one. Um, this is one of my photographs. This has done what uh, Roger suggested. Is he still here? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the top half and the bottom half. In fact, it's just one. It's four bits of the same picture, <laughs> ar ar arranged. I thought it made rather a nice pattern. Mm. I think that was a view from my bedroom window when we were in a place called Bello in Italy. It's symmetrical. It is. I made it symmetrical. It's a square picture. I can divide it into four and then put the four bits and just move them about. Okay, um, I think that's all on that. Um, now, what was the other thing? Let's unshare for a moment. What else did I have on my system? Um, I'm just praying I can get my old photos back because I've got some lovely reflected landscapes and you know I don't do Photoshop, but fingers crossed I can find my old pictures. Right, I've got uh, in mind a lovely one of Angkor Wat. All right. It, it did mean getting up at four in the morning, so it was well worth it. Right, I've found the right page last. <laughs> Let me share this one if I can get to the show. Oh, where's it gone? Everything's in the way now. Oh, there you are. Um, 
share this particular screen now, I think. There it is. I shall be sending you a copy of this, if you can see it all. Uh, well, we can work, well, you don't want the word perfect, right? There well, I've changed it. <laughs> that was quick. You need to take it out of the one as well, Peter. The what? You need to take it out of item one. Oh, thank you, Richard, yes. Um, yes, delete, save. <laughs> so that's all right, I'll send that to you. And I, I don't, don't suppose you want the flood filter, do you? Nobody wants the flood filter. But I have a copy if you want it. Leave it on there, but Leave that's not, on, yeah. you're not going to get it from me. <laughs> it's an amazing thing. The one with the rippling waters was, was a different filter, because that's moving, as you can see. And that, that was a French, uh, from a French website that I found. I've, I've lost track of it now, somewhere on my computer. I can't remember where. <laughs> Right, okay, um, stop sharing, um, David's gone. Um, what else was there, anything else on that topic? Think of anything else? The next um, session is, where's my diary gone? I lose things all the time these days. It's a huge thing, the diary, how can I lose? Yeah, you miss Sheila. She just confuses matters, so that wouldn't help, Stan. <laughs> I, I've, I've been friends with Peter and Sheila for 30 years, and, and I know how Sheila used to look after Peter. Of course. <laughs> next, next time we do pr um, practical photography is the 1st of October. That's a fright, well, yes. I'm in hospital on the Saturday having my uh, cataracts done. Are you going to have both done at the same time? No, no, no. Oh, well, good luck. How long is your waiting list, Dan? Mine's four months. Um, well, I'm at a private hospital, but it's National Health. Well, so is mine. But you probably um, know it. It's the one that um, associates with the Salisbury Hospital. Um, tell me what it calls itself. Gosh, well, mine's up here, obviously. Oh, that's good. I'm, I'm just about to be referred for my right eye, and I was thinking it might be a year. But uh, if I, I was given a choice of five places to have it done, and it told you the waiting times for each of them. Oh, and that's all on the NHS? Yes, indeed. All right, I'll get on to my GP then. <laughs> yes. Well, I've, got this, I've got the same problem. I've got to get mine done sometime. Yeah. Well, I have one done. I need the other one done, but they've been putting it off for about three years, I think it is, but it needs doing desperately now. So, Can you drive a car? It's quite interesting because I look at you, I see <laughs> if, well, with one eye you're blue and the other eye you're yellow. <laughs> well, I'm not quite that bad then. <laughs> it's just one eye guy can see you, the other eye it's looking like through the bathroom window. Well, the, mine's, that's, that's yellow and looking through the bathroom window, and that's normal. <laughs> My Australian sister, who lives in Australia, that is, <laughs> uh, had her done, hers done, and one eye had a film over it when, when it had been finished, so she had to go back to have another op to remove that film across the eye. Oh, well, don't tell me that. No, don't tell me that. I only want to hear happy stories, otherwise what I'm a, not going to be brave. What a common thing to happen. <laughs> All I can't place is the list of things that can go wrong and why you should be wary of it. Like they can drop the lens inside your um, You're right. eye and they can uh, <laughs> they can squish the, ge the jelly out and it, the, the list is endless. This is not helping. No, I didn't think it would be, but I've got to go through it as well, remember. <laughs> so, P Peter, where does your sister live? Uh, in Australia. <laughs> where? You know where Perth is, don't you? Yeah, she, I went there. She lives in, inland, about 50 miles inland, somewhere like that. As no, no, so long as it's not Canberra. Oh, that, <laughs> if, she had, if she had problems with her eye, I don't want to know. <laughs> she came over for your 70th birthday, didn't she, Peter? She did, yes, that's right, yes. That's, uh, oh, Christ. Um, uh, as 12, I met her. Yeah, 11 or 12 years ago now, yes. She Who suddenly where I'd, I'd arranged uh, a, a, a gathering. It was a very successful gathering, that was, wasn't it? It, it was very good. Both my sisters at the same time. Yeah. 
um, uh, lots of friends, lots of U3A people, including Stan. <clears throat> yes, that was good. That was a good time, Alan. Right. Um, yes. Um, I haven't had a have a cataract, but I do do have a problem with arthritis in this thumb. And I went to see the doctor this week, and he gave me a cream called uh, which you rub on a gel with a not paracetamol, the other one. You Ubuntu. Ob Ob no, you know, ibuprofen. Ibuprofen. <laughs> As well as paracetamol, I'm having to do eight paracetamols a day just for that. I can still feel it. So, but I couldn't pick up a pint glass of beer. That's the problem. That's very serious. That is. I <laughs> had to go for a glass of wine instead. Smaller. Even, even the doctor thought that was serious. <laughs> can I just say to comfort everybody? I know, or at least a dozen people, including my neighbour opposite, who've had cataract operations. And they've all been very, very successful without you, any, I love you. I love any you, complications. I, I I've had a cataract stand on that. I too know a lot of people who've had cataract operations with not a problem between them. Okay, yes, this is the art of positive th thinking. Of course. <laughs> well, I've had a cataract operation and mine's fine. Yeah, oh, excellent. Right, on that note, <laughs> also, my other sister, Elaine. She's had successful things in Suffolk. Oh, good. Right. That's not Mill Hill, but that'll do. I'm listening. But if it's not, I, I was thinking, OK, great. Well, I'm going to see if the NHS can come up Trump's, bless it. <laughs> the, the local hospital have um, a thing called Medicine for Members, a, a little group that you can go to for free. And I give little talks from consultants when they're free and so on. And we have one on the on doing just the cataract operation. Ooh. Very close up pictures and all sorts of things. And they had this, this woman, I remember she had um, these little tiny curved needles, little tiny curved needles that she put a, was already threaded when she wanted to stitch bits of the eye up. Do you remember that, Richard? I do, because that's the woman who did mine. <laughs> and it won't be this time, because I'm going to Newhall this time. I can imagine stitching your eyes. Mm, can you imagine that? Sure. No, I, well, I, I mean, you're Let awake during all this. Now. I suppose the answer is yes. The only thing that annoyed me, because they used water in your eye to wash it off, it kept going in my ear. So I was not amused. <laughs> <laughs> We're stopping okay. now. We're stopping now. Think about that. <laughs> can we do eyes for our pictures next time? <laughs> 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 The eyes, the eyes have it, right. I need to spell out what the homework will be. Reflections. Do reflections. In camera. No messing about. All right, in camera, that's what we want. I shall tell Anne Smith, because that's what she needs as well. I mean, she's not here at the moment. So, right, OK. Um, I'll say goodbye, I think, and I'll send you a recording of this magnificent morning. I <laughs> think you're not going out anywhere today, Peter. Oh, we are. Oh, sorry, I better mention that, haven't we? Yes. Um, Terry and I have figured out where to go. Uh, and that is the Lush House Car Park. You all sound a bit confused. Yes. That's right. It's near the Queen Elizabeth Gardens. <clears throat> it's the car park next to that. And uh, I suppose I ought to ask who wants to come this afternoon? I should be coming, Peter. What time, is it? what time what? is the meet? What time is the meet? We finished here, and we've set sorted ourselves out under the loo and all that. Uh, we can then go off to a pub, but we'll park first and then walk to a pub called if, the Old Ale House. Is the eating going to be outside? Or uh, no? there's there's a room outside. Yes, you want it's it to be outside. outside? It's just that Maureen would come if the eating was outside, but she's reticent about eating inside. It'll be outside. Okay. Right. And what's the, the pub called? The Old Ale House, Crane Street, Salisbury. That's the one with the... Uh, um, opposite uh, where your uh, office used to be. It's opposite our shop. Yeah. Uh, that's the place where it's got all the, sun, the summer houses. It's got the it's summer house. Back garden, yes. We, could, we may be able to get a summer house. Mm. How about that? Sounds good, doesn't it? 
So how about you, Roger and Elizabeth? Any chance of you coming? We have a regular commitment on a Friday afternoon. So Would that be Bolt? Hmm? Pardon, sorry? Would that be so, sorry, sorry, sorry. On the again. golf course. No, 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 it's not golf. <laughs> no, it's a regular thing on a Friday afternoon that we do, so we can't. Yeah. Peter, how about you? Are you oh, able sorry, to... I, won't, I won't be coming, Peter. Oh, what a pity. And you won't be coming, Elaine, and nor are Diana, I can assure you. Pity about no, that. Nor will I. I think I will have to re 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 ignore the off offer as well, Peter. My uh, hernia is beginning to give me grief. And I'm not seeing the doctor until Monday, so. Ah, well, we chose the particular place because. Well, I realize that's why you did it. But I was going to say, I don't think I can even walk around Lizzie Gardens, believe it or not, even if I park in the car park that you're suggesting. OK, well, we'll, we'll discuss it later on. Terry and, uh, and I and, and Alan and perhaps Maureen as well. Righty how? OK, right. Well, so... Sorry? Have a nice time. Oh, thank you, Elaine. We'll show you the pictures later. <laughs> There'll be reflections, of course. <laughs> I was just thinking, Peter, looking at you on my screen, all morning you've been blurred, and I'm not sure if it's my cataract. <laughs> Is it still blurred? <laughs> <laughs> okay, have, have a good time, folks. Thank you for a lovely meeting. Sorry, I was um, a bit late. Yeah, Elaine's beautifully shown.